Earn more raid rewards, a cross out video by Dangerously Incompetent. I was watching a Dirky Dirk video the other day and he noted that building, but not repairing, turrets in frontier defence got you score. Now this nugget of information had previously passed me by. So it just goes to show it's worth watching YouTubers whose videos are not just wall to wall edited kills and victories. Link to his video in the description below. I was building turrets in Frontier Defence, but I wasn't doing it for the score. I'd gained the habit of building and repairing turrets back when raids were challenging, because having something for the raiders to shoot that isn't you was really useful in not getting destroyed and staying alive to complete the raid. Now we all want more resource, so in this video I'm going to take a closer look at turret building in the Frontier Defence raid, which gives the most resource for the fuel used, with an eye to gaining more score and therefore more rewards. You have to destroy the turrets because they're under the enemy's control before you can rebuild them and you get plus five score for destroying the turrets. You get five points added to your score when you create a level one turret and you get another five points when you upgrade it from one to two and another five points when you upgrade it from two to three. After the enemy has destroyed a turret, you can rebuild it. You get 5 points for a level 1 turret, you get 5 points for a level 2 turret, and you get 5 points for a level 3 turret. Doesn't matter what level the turret is, you get 5 points for rebuilding it. And you can rebuild it as many times as the enemy destroy it. You don't get any score for repairing a turret, so don't do that, it's a waste of parts. Upgrading turrets isn't free, you know, it costs you parts costs you 60 parts to build a level 1 turret, it costs you 100 parts to upgrade from a level 1 to a level 2 turret, it costs you 160 parts to go from a level 2 turret to a level 3 turret. And you get these parts by destroying raiders. And there's only so many raiders in a raid, so there's only so many parts in the raid, there's only so many levels you can upgrade. To get the most score out of turret building, what you do is you build your level 1 turret, that's a plus 5 score, then you let the raiders destroy it, and then you go back and rebuild it again for another plus 5 score. And then the raiders come back and destroy it, and you build it again, and again, and again, as many times as you can manage. Because it only costs you 60 points for 5 score. Upgrading any of the any other levels is more expensive than parts, and there's only so many parts you're going to get. Don't spend parts on repairing turrets because you don't get any score for that. And don't upgrade to level 2 or level 3. Unless you're nearing right, right at the end of the raid and you've got loads of parts left over. And there's only a couple more raiders to destroy so you might as well blow them on getting another couple of 5 points. Now you might be thinking, oh next raid I'm just going to do turrets. I'm going to ignore the raiders and just concentrate on upgrading turrets and that's how I'll get a big score. No. The score you get for upgrading turrets isn't as much as the score you get for destroying raiders. It's just a bonus score you can get. So don't concentrate on the turrets, well you can't anyway, because you need to destroy raiders to get the parts to upgrade the turrets. What you do is you upgrade turrets in the lull between waves. You know when your allies are off chasing down that lone raider that's searching around the map for one raider left in the wave? and they need to kill him before the next wave spawn, while they're doing that, you go off and upgrade a turret or two. Get some okay, for a Brucey bonus to your score. You want a nice high score for participating in the raid, because a higher score means more reward, more reputation, more resources. Because after all, you've just spent eight minutes of your life playing this raid, and you're probably here because you want plastic to make the latest weapon, the Yagwai or however you pronounce it, off the syndicate or something else, or whatever it is. You get score for eliminating raiders and completing mission objectives, but the mission objectives aren't explicitly listed anywhere. You, you end up having to read the description, take a guess at what you need to do, do it, and then look and watch for the completed objectives bonus score come up in small writing for a short period of time on a part of the screen that's really busy because that's where you're flying around and it's often overwritten with other stuff as well and you don't and it's not stated that you did it 
did what they, whatever it was that got you the score. It might have been your ally who did it. So it can be quite awkward trying to figure out what you actually need to do to increase your score. So wouldn't it be helpful if there was a nice list of all the raids and what you did and what score you got for it? That would be really helpful. There isn't Ant one anywhere as far as I know. Until now! Help me compile a list of the mission objectives for the different raids by contributing to the community post that I'm going to post down there. List the raid you were in, what you did and the score you got for it. And help yourself and help other people. That would be great. That's it for this video. See you in the community post. No, on the community tab. The community post in the community tab. Yeah, on my on my channel. See you there.